What's happening? It's your boy Bundy here. In this video, I'm going to be making some car, and as you can see there, it's so very chill, quick and easy. And uh, stay tuned because you might learn a thing or two about some quick workflow, some nice graphic design techniques, or maybe just like aesthetics overall. So let's get into this shit. You know, this is what you want to do. Either you have a really good idea, but if you don't, you gotta get some inspiration. When not knowing what to make, when opening Photoshop up and sitting like, damn, how do I get started? I'm blocked, I'm not creative, but sure, man, what the fuck? What I usually do is I go on Pinterest, I go on Instagram, I go on other inspirational sites, mostly Pinterest, and then I make a board, click some of the, save some of the things, pin some of the things I think it's called, and then start figuring out what I want to do. I've downloaded three pictures, and I want to talk about them for a very short time so we can get into the tutorial. First one, Sam Smith, Money in My Mind. As you can see here, has a very nice background picture, some abstract, freaking paint strokes. It's looking good. But if you didn't have the text on top, it wouldn't make much sense, would it? Then it could just be like some snippet of a painting. But with the text on top, it cuts the lines nicely. It's very subtle, very clean. I like the typography. It doesn't draw too much attention, but at the same time, it sums everything up. Very good. Second picture I chose is from Saint Motel. It's a very cool picture. It's a woman diving off something that looks like a diving board, but when you look closer, it's actually the rear end of some old school car, I'd say from the 1950s, like a real nice uh, Plymouth or something. Because <laughs> I know shit like that. So, what, what's working, what's nice about this, is there's not too many colors, it's not too confusing, there's just a red and a blue, which complement each other really good. Then we have the clean, calm, nice, chill typography up top, with a lot of tracking, which makes it like a bit more hipsterish. And it fills out the top space very nicely. There's not too much more to say about this, but um, one thing you should always keep in mind is less is more. There's not too much info stuffed into this. And uh, a friend of mine actually taught me that once. We were standing buying a shawarma after a night out of drinking, and uh, I was just saying, oh, I want this, I want fries in my dudum, I want some peas, I want some corn, I want all of this shit. And he was like, Bruh, sometimes less is more. You gotta keep it simple. Because simple is chill. Simple is success. I'm not sure about all this, but uh, less is more, especially in cover art. You wanna keep it simple. This is a perfect example of that. There's a nice looking gradient, what resembles a sunrise of sorts. Or a sunset, it could also be. But uh, judging from the title of this album, which is called Awake, I'm guessing it's probably a sunrise. And as you can see here, something that looks like a text is in the bottom, just like adding the final touch to this picture. It's not needed, but it looks really clean. Let's fucking yeah, 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 yeah. jump over to Photoshop. <laughs> right? Okay. Open up Photoshop. Great new. Getting to it. Okay, let's see. You want a high-res photo, because if you want to get it printed on a, on a shirt, if you want to get it printed on a vinyl, if you want to get it printed anywhere, it's gotta be fucking clean and high-res from the start. So we're gonna go with 3000 by 3000 pixels, and you want the resolution to be 300 pixels per inch. Get that high-res, okay? Create that B. Hit it. Yeah. Get it in there. And uh, now you have this nice looking blank piece of art. Could be cool actually just to use this, but uh, not that creative. What we need is some visuals, something to spice that background up. And uh, something I can definitely recommend is a site called Unsplash. Go in here, free pictures, free high-res pictures, and uh, that is so nice. Who wants to pay for stuff when you can get free? <laughs> Alright, so, abstract, 
get that shit in. Since I want to make some abstract, cool looking electronic vibes, then I just search abstract. And uh, in a previous example, I used this picture. But uh, if you wanna, wanna use the same one as mine, scroll a bit down or go in the description, put it down there. But uh, actually I challenge you to use something else because the only way you'll learn is by not following my steps exactly, but following the steps and then going in a bit other direction because that's like your brain is like this. I'm following a tutorial that goes like this and you're just doing your own thing and following the tutorial. So definitely a thing I can recommend. Okay, now we got the picture downloaded. I already have it in a folder here, so um, I'm gonna just pull it up. You want to pull the picture into Photoshop because that way it's gonna open into pre transform mode and you can actually just scale it the size you want without having to press anything. So here it is. Open this shit up. Nice. And now I'm actually feeling kind of be motivated. I don't know what to do. So uh, I think that always helps me when I'm creating stuff, when I'm doing this shit. I like to get a bit weird. I like to get a bit freaky. So um, hold up. Yeah, boy. Now I'm ready to create some real chill shit because I'm looking real chill and I'm about to do this shit. Okay. This one gonna be quick. I'm gonna fast forward through all this shit make you learn as much as possible in as short time as possible so stay fucking focused start out pressing M use the marquee tool hold it in electrical marquee tool go to the center drag it out while holding shift and alt then when you have it big enough you uh, create a new layer and then you want to press G button because you're going to great straight to the paint bucket tool there we go. The reason why I'm doing this is because now I have a layer that I can center in the middle. I can resize it if I want to. Maybe make it a bit smaller. And uh, to make it smaller into the center, you hold Alt while doing that. So this looks pretty good. Another thing you gotta notice right now is uh, when I'm clicking this layer, I'm clicking this thumbnail and I'm holding the Command or Control button. Click that, you make a selection from that layer. Go down to the layer below, the Colors layer. Hold Control or Command and press J. Now we make a layer from that selection. And uh, if you hide these other two layers, you can see how beautiful it looks. Kind of looks like the the Tyco Awake cover, but just better. <laughs> we did it in like three seconds. So what we want to do now is get real. We're gonna add the text. You probably have something in mind because either you're doing this for a friend, for yourself. But if you're just doing it for practice, try come up with some artsy. As you saw earlier, I wrote colorful lines, and I think that's that's pretty artsy. It kind of means uh, it doesn't really mean anything to be honest, but it could be a way. That is shitty. I'm not that good at multitasking, talking while writing. Colorful lines, and always, <laughs> always add a dot there at the end, because you know what? That's artsy as fuck. Okay, this looks pretty nice. Change the color to white. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now I'm actually ready to call it. <sighs> Don't know what to say, but yeah, now I'm almost finished. But um, one last twist, okay? Follow me here. Make a new layer, press the M. No, just go up here to the rectangle tool, drag it out. Doesn't have to be perfect. Press the G button again. This looks nice. Center this bitch to wherever you want it. No, to the center. And uh, go down to this layer you made. Hold, wait, 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 wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. Stay on this layer. Hold control while clicking the thumbnail. Go down to the next layer. Press control J. Now we have something that looks nice. Press control I. Now it's beautiful, right? Yeah, I know. Last touch, and then we're finished. Control J to duplicate this layer, drag it out to the side, you press Control T to open up the transform tool. Control T, right click, flip horizontally, and uh, you wanna Control J to drag the new one over to the other side, and then you're actually, oh, let's see, bam. 
now we got it. We got something that's artsy, cool looking. People might not know how it's made, but uh, I just told you. So you can go on and spread the word. Say, damn, bitches, I know how to make this cool shit. It's all because of your boy, Bundy. Now we're actually finished. I'm gonna show you how to put it in a mock-up format. How to put it on the vinyl. But first I'm gonna show you quick and easy how to make some, some different approaches to this. This could be a nice approach. Ah, two fucking uh, paint strokes, man. Different colors, different styles. That looks pretty nice. If you don't want that, you can uh, maybe go over here. Hide this. Open up the background layer again. Do like this. Uh, change this to black, maybe, I don't know. Press the T button. Oh, my shit fucking up. My shit fucking up. Press the T, switch the color. Do like this. Do like this. Now we're getting somewhere. We want this to go away. So we just do like this. Just pop it up. Rasterize the layer. Get that shit going. Yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm not sure if this is what I want, but uh, definitely, I just tried it out and I saw something going on. So, uh, make a quick new selection, put it in the middle, then we got it going, boy. Then we got it going, boy. Then we got it. Okay, but I was, as I was saying earlier, you just want to keep on experimenting. Make some different stuff. You can't just have one recipe how to make some chill shit. You gotta experiment. You gotta keep on pushing yourself, keep on making new stuff. As I was mentioning earlier, do this tutorial, but try and not follow my exact steps. Try and make your own ways. Because then you figure out, oh, I can do this. Oh, I can maybe go up here. We could distort this. Like, I haven't tried all of these settings, but uh, I'm sure that you can do some cool stuff. Some of these, yeah, that looks pretty chill, actually. Some of these things, it's just by experimenting. Sitting in Photoshop, not really having the final result you're looking for, but just experiment with, with the tools you got. And uh, when I was making this video, I actually made a couple of different attempts on some cool cover art. So, uh, let's see, this is the one I made today. And uh, this was one where I used a smudge tool to bring my face one end to the other. This was just very simple, having a background photo, putting some text in. This was kind of similar to the stuff I just showed you. And this is also a very easy technique. I can cover it in another video, but you could just let me know if you want me to cover it. Because it's, it's a pretty, pretty easy uh, effect out there and I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Okay, you've made some nice cover art. You go up to your friend. You're kind of proud and you're like, <sighs> looking forward to show this to my boy. Show this to him. He's like, or her, of course. Show, show this to the person you you made it for. And they're like, what the fuck is this shit? Uh, what, do you, what do you want me to use this for? I'm like, you told me to make some cover art for you, right? They're like, yeah, but this, what the fuck is this? But it's because they don't know how it's gonna look when it's in action. So I've uploaded a link to a vinyl mockup. And I've also uploaded a link to uh, Apple Music mockup. These two things, it's always a good idea to have them ready to show to your friends because first of all, it looks cool. Second of all, it's easier to um, understand how it's gonna look when you have it on the actual product. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how to put it on the, the vinyl. And the Apple Music mockup, it's very simple. I'm not gonna go through that because you can I'm pretty sure you can figure it out yourself. Alright, so let's get into Photoshop again. Check this shit out. You upload the file and uh, you have two. It's gonna say like here, your design. And uh, you can either press cover design or inside design. We'll start with the cover design. Open this up. So it's probably gonna look like this for you because I'm just gonna upload the link where I found it. Go back to your cover art file and press make a new layer. Press Control, Alt, Shift, and E. This will merge all the layers and put it into the new layer you just created. That way, you just have to right click, duplicate, and duplicate to the new layer called Rectangle 21. Resize it a bit, and then what you got. Resize it like this, press Control S or Command S, and it's gonna jump right over to the mockup. Ain't that beautiful. Perfect. 
we done. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please press that like button. Please press that subscribe button. Hit me up with a comment what you want to know, what you want to see in the next video. And uh, because you watched this far, I'm going to tell you a couple things about myself, about what I'm going to be uploading on this channel. So, first of all, my name is Bundy, 23 years old, currently living in Korea, doing an exchange program, and it's very, very nice. Just got an internship and um, moved to Seoul, so I'm living in the capital city, living in this chill-ass crib. Got like five or six square meters, so I got the chill lounge over here, got the workspace here, got the kitchen out there, got the toilet back there, it's all good. So I have a couple of videos in the making. One is about making a logo and a brand identity. The other one is designing a tracksuit. Then I also have some characters that I've made, which I want to make to stickers and posters. And at some point, hopefully like 3D models. Um, and a lot of other stuff. I've got a music video coming out. Actually, I've got two in the making. One is probably going to come out real soon. And there's some like chill electronic stuff. So once again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, stay tuned because your boy Bundy is about to post some real good shit, aight?